Hey there, Dr. Chris Cooper here. I'm going to talk to you today about sciatica and how to get rid of it. Let me get this out of the way first. Sciatica is a garbage term which doesn't mean much. And so there's a lot of things that can cause sciatic pain. Check this out. I drew this for you. This is your sciatic nerve coming out of your lumbar spine and S1 nerve root. They all combine to make your sciatic nerve. Now the pain can come from a lot of different spots. If the pain is coming from your lumbar nerve roots, it might be a disc. That's called radiculopathy. If your piriformis muscle is pinching on the nerve, that could be called piriformis syndrome. Pain coming from your SI joint can also refer pain down the leg into the butt. You can also have a trigger point in your piriformis muscle that refers pain down the butt. We're gonna go over all the solutions. Follow me to watch along. Hey there, Dr. Chris Cooper here. This is part two of the sciatica series. Specifically, we're gonna talk about sacroiliac joint dysfunction. So when you have SI joint dysfunction, you feel the pain here radiating down your leg. One of the key things with SI joint dysfunction is the pain never goes below the knee. It's always dull, it's always achy, it's always deep. One of the best things you can do for SI joint dysfunction is adjust the joint right here. We have to make sure it's even. We have to make sure it moves the same on both sides. An adjustment might look like this. I think one of the craziest things about SI joint dysfunction is it honestly can be that easy. An adjustment can make you stand up, you feel better, you move better, the pain goes away. Nobody deserves to suffer. Share this with someone who needs it. Take it easy. Hey there, Dr. Chris Cooper here. I'm gonna talk about part three of my sciatica series. Today we're gonna to talk about piriformis syndrome. The piriformis is a muscle that attaches from the lateral border of the sacrum over to the femur. The sciatic nerve passes behind it. In some cases it passes over it, and in some cases it passes through it. If you are one of these people where the sciatic nerve passes through the muscle, if that muscle gets tight, you have pain shooting down your leg. Let's just say for a second, it's not the sciatic nerve being pinched. If you have a trigger point in your piriformis, it can send pain down the leg. A chiropractor or physical therapist will work on a piriformis like this, stretch you out. Here's how you do it yourself. Lay on your back, grab your knee, grab your ankle, knee goes this way, ankle gets twisted. You feel it here. Check out the other videos in my sciatic series. Hey there, Dr. Chris Cooper here. This is part four of four of the sciatica series. Today we're gonna to talk about radiculopathy. Quick anatomy, you have discs in between each level of your vertebra. Sometimes these discs can bulge, something like this, where it pushes out on the nerve that runs along the spine. These nerves travel all the way down the leg. And that's where leg pain comes from in radiculopathy. So think of your disc like an ice cream sandwich or a jelly donut. If I squish it, the in squishy inside will come out. So to fix it, I gotta squish it back in. One of the best things you could do is lay on your stomach, come up onto your elbows, let the back sag. If this is comfortable, come up onto your hands. Keep that back sagging. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Follow along for more exercises we're gonna do. See you next time.